Hello everyone, this is Balton Alpertson, uh, the founder and game designer of Vita Games, and uh, welcome to this tech demo. Today we're in a very quiet sector of the Western Front in uh, September of 1914, and we're going to build some trenches. So in the game, the, in this game mode, the player will start with this T-shaped trench as a jumping off point to expand the trench network. So let's start by actually extending both flanks into our voxel landscape. This is something we find it's quite novel and in, in this setting and this kind of genre of games and we're quite actually quite pleased with. So the soldiers will now go over and they will start digging down. And for the purpose of this demo, the trench digging is quite expedient, but in the game we will have to balance it. it will take obviously it's very time consuming to <laughs> build a trench, but let's just have it easy for the guys in this demo. So let's expand both ways. And there will, be, there will be an enemy trench line over here, and the soldiers will always be quite exposed, especially when above ground, but we're doing the peaceful version. But we can expect a German raid coming out of this mine crater over here, so let's prepare for that. When playing the game, the player always has a limited amount of man and material, so it's important to place down what the player deems important positions in the front line and where he wants to defend. These are the defense positions, and they can be incremented in priority or decremented. So, what is a, like a good place with a good advantage? This is like what the player can basically design where he wants to, to fight, and where he wants to funnel in the enemy. So we're doing pretty well. Now let's talk about storage. So, all resources in the game, about 90% of them, are, are important on imported into the map. But some of the resources will be local, like. You can chop down trees for wood and stuff like that. So let's get more ammo to the front line in case of an attack, because then if these guys run out of bullets, they will need more. So let's put up uh, this um, ammunition depot over here and call for resources. Let's have it incremented in priority. And now they will actually start going. Those which are on the hauling and building duty will start to fetch ammunition while the others watch the line. Let's also quickly make a little storage zone over here so we can have both construction materials and food closer by now in world war one the majority of the battles took place in 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 western europe and france and belgium when which had didn't have much elevation so just a little slope like this is actually a very very pricey military real estate but obviously this mine crater over here is also very expensive as well so this would be a nice objective for the player to try and take it to deny the enemy any advantage so let's set up storage zones over here. So we have the construction materials. Let's call for them and increment the priority and also for food. But trenches are great, but obviously you cannot always defend the whole line. And imagine when the player has built the line through a much bigger way. So you cannot defend it all. So we have to design choke points and design kill boxes, which is obviously a big thing in colony sims. So we don't have barbed wire, so let's actually just quickly research barbed wire. This that reaches three, which will be much, much more elaborative and much more deeper and much more fun. So here we have, let's place them down, some barbed wire. And imagine like what places are more difficult to defend and where do you want the enemy to attack? Also, it's now, what, one o'clock in the afternoon, and we could expand, ex yeah, there could be some shenanigans during the nighttime. You can see the ammo has reached the front line, so if these guys run out of bullets, they can get them from here. Let's put up more defensive positions, because if they break through the line, the enemy, and if they break through here and get your command point bunker, it's over. Finito. Let's also use more, the dig more trenches. Let's do a little bit more here. It's also fun because we want the trench system to be very free. The player can basically design them to their heart's content. And as they build, let's also have a flare post here because the flare post is quite clever. It's a hallmark of World War One, like the barbed wire of shooting up flares during the night. And the AI will do this automatically, but in this demo, we'll do it manually because it's fun. 
Uh, the next steps in development is making the game obviously more dangerous, so with machine guns and rifle fire. So uh, this in, in a regular mode, this would be quite dangerous for the troops to be so exposed, but we are at the DEFCON level one, which is basically for the player to decide the readiness of the army. So one, they are more careless and more of them are working, but if you go to, let's say, level four, then you have the majority of the men watching the line and very few building or resting. But obviously later on, that can be customized by the player in the platoon menu. So in the game, there will be a commander. So all platoons have a ca captain, which is this guy. He's the commander, called Andrew Gordon, and he's like the uh, what we've known as pawns in Colony Sims. So if he is an inspired fighter and inspires the man, obviously that's great, but he will have randomized stats, so he might be a complete coward or a, or a desk fighter and not up to much. So that would obviously affect the whole platoon but we're not showcasing that feature yet. So let's just elab, build more, dig in, and wait for the enemy. Still have plenty of resources at the moment, so let's speed up a little bit. It's almost in. Oh, oh, there we go. Germans tried to, well, not in a great position. And we're out of them. We got rid of them. As dusk settles in, let's put up a little flare. And, and I thank you very much for listening and watching. If you have any questions, you can always contact me through email or WhatsApp if you like. And uh, see you soon.